Hi, it's me, Ran, and I'm going to do a short tutorial about how to um, send a package from your home via USPS.com by printing out the, the uh, postage with your printer and then having the USPS service carrier pick them up. So you go ahead and sign into USPS.com. I've already uh, created a demo account just to show you this video. So if you don't have an account with USPS.com, you'd go ahead and register. If not, you sign in, like it shows right here, and then you go to ship a package. Just go to ship now. You can, however, use this uh, site to also get the boxes delivered to you as it shows right here. See? So you can get the priority flat rate boxes, which is exactly what we're going to be using today. So you click ship now. So this is my pretend address and name and everything. Uh, it's going to show that once you log in. And then you're going to send to. I'm going to come up with Joe Receiver at just another address that I've made up. I did make sure that um, this zip and city um, existed, otherwise it won't let me do this. So then you can go ahead and scroll down, choose a shipping date, let's just say that date, I'm shipping flat rate because it is a priority mail. Otherwise, you'd have to enter the package weight and it has to be a different kind of box. I'm going to go ahead and just put $100 for value. You really don't have to. But uh, you have to put something in it because it has that blue star on there. It won't let you move on unless you do that. So I'm just going to pretend that my value is about 100 bucks. It's already at priority mail. I'm going to push get prices. So let's just say I'm going to go ahead and send a small flat rate box. It gives you the dimensions. So when you do order the boxes or you go to the post office to pick them up, you'll see what they are uh, on the box itself. That's how much it's going to cost you, no matter what it is, as long as it fits in there. I believe it's up it's under 70 pounds. And you do, of course, have to follow all regulations and laws. So I'm not going to insure it or do anything like signature confirmation or anything because that's an extra charge and it doesn't really matter. I'm just um, not going to put anything there. So you can do multiple orders at once by putting add to cart and start new label or you can just do add to cart if you're doing one order. So that's my shipping address to whomever is going to receive it with the ship date that I, um, that I put in. And I'm going to go ahead to billing information. Go ahead and click that I certify that my mailing complies with all applicable U.S. laws, just like we talked about. You can create, uh, you can, um, I'm sorry, um, choose a credit card or PayPal account. I'm just going to go ahead and say credit card. You select what type and enter your card number, the security code, which is a three-digit code if it's a MasterCard, Visa, or Discover, and it's a four-digit code at the front of your American Express if it's uh, Amex. You put in the uh, expiration month and year, and then you can click to use the same information, which is uh, what you've set up already. Okay, so this is where you would push next and pay and print. We're not going to do it since this is just a demo. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the front page to show you now how to schedule a pickup. Oh, I'm sorry. At that last page, once you're done, you can go ahead and uh, print, which will print right to your home printer. And then you cut it and um, paste it onto your priority mail box. Um, and this is where you will schedule a pickup. Okay, so my step already is auto populated because I'm checked in. I'm going to check the availability of when it can be picked up. I want to say front door. So by the front door they're going to pick it up and I'm going to say during regular mail delivery hours so that I don't have to pay any money. That's the reason why you're doing it 
is to have it for free. You're not doing express, that would be extra. You're just doing regular priority mail, just one box. And I'm gonna say it weighs five pounds. If it weighs more, put more. They really just wanna know that it's um, over 70 pounds or 130, okay? Or 130 uh, inches. Okay, and then you just click the schedule of pickup, which I'm not going to do because this is for the demo purposes only. But that's all you would do to um, pay for postage, have it printed, and then have it picked up. So I hope this has been helpful, and I will get back to you with another lesson. All right, have a good day.